Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding 3D dimensions to a solid model within 1CNC. Let's begin by opening up a SolidWorks file. I'm going to head up here, select Open, and let's change our files of type to SLD PRT files. That looks good. And let's grab our tripod bracket. We'll click OK to that and finish. As you know, within 1CNC XR8, you do not need to create wireframe geometry to start applying dimensions. In fact, we can add dimensions directly to the solid model. Let's head over here to dimensions. Let's go with a diametrical dimension. That looks good. I'm going to grab the edge there and let's pull that down right about there. How about a vertical dimension? Let's grab a couple edges there and left click. Again, I'm not using any wireframe geometry. I'm just selecting the edges of the solid model. How about the center of the hole to the edge? Let's go with a vertical dimension and we'll grab that there and let's pull that dimension right about like that. Alright, let's say that that's enough for this side. What if we want to start creating dimensions on another side? Well, all you need to do is create a construction plane on that side and it's very fast. Let's come down here to our construction plane tools and just use this option right here. Just simply left click on that side and now you have a construction plane created and now it's easy to create your dimensions. How about a radial dimension? Let's grab those edges there. Let's put another one down there. That looks good. How about a vertical dimension? So all you have to remember is that when you're creating your 3D dimensions, make sure that you create a construction plane that's coplanar with that side. Let's make one more. How about a horizontal dimension from that edge to that edge? And let's pull that down right about there. All right. Very good. So now we have 3D dimensions created very quickly right on the solid model. Now, if you want to put those dimensions on a separate layer, that's also really easy to do. I just hit the letter S on the keyboard to go into select mode. Let's left click that. Let's hide that solid model and all we have to do is come up here and grab our blank command or just hit the letter B on the keyboard. Hit control A on the keyboard to select everything. Come down here to alter and we're going to alter all this selected geometry, all the selected dimensions and we're going to put that on a brand new layer called dimensions. That looks great so we'll click OK to that and now we have separate layers here. We have a layer called dimensions we can turn on and off and we have our default layer layer 0 which we can turn off as well. In fact I'm going to rename this. I'm going to double click that and I'm just going to call this solid model. Very good. Alright that's it for this video. If this video helped you out and you found this video informative please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.